Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for September 17th through the 23rd. This is for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now typically my readings are love readings, but they don't always turn out that way. If you feel confused during this reading, if it's confusing you, then it's not for you. This reading should fit easily. If it doesn't fit easily, you know, just if some of it, whatever. It may not be for you, okay? Don't try to make it fit. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, timing is fluid. Generally, my readings, I've been finding, they don't resonate for a freaking week. Sometimes three days, whatever. So keep that in mind. Aquarius. Aquarius. Ooh some truth is coming out or some truth is going to come out the moon reverse you could be dealing with Pisces as well you know a lot of people don't mention this but you could also be dealing with a cancer okay because cancer is ruled by the moon so this is like this is a cancer or a Pisces but it doesn't have to be that but I'm just telling you um, this is dealing with confusion dealing with illusions facing fears truth being revealed Something is going to be revealed. Whatever this truth is that's going to be revealed, it may hurt. Okay, it may hurt. Um, and I know that nobody wants to hurt, but, you know, hurt brings growth, right? Pain forces you to grow. Pain forces you to grow, okay? Um, forces you to go through that rebirth. We've talked about birth many times. You guys are, are being pushed in a new direction. You know, you're, it's like it's like a cycle needs to end. Some cycle needs to end with that moon. The moon is cycles, okay? A cycle needs to end and you may be reluctant to let go of the last remnants of whatever it is. But it's already gone, okay? It's already empty. So you might as well turn your head and look at the other opportunity and face the pain, whatever it is. Because there's, you're, you're, this is being taken advantage of. You're acting naive. You're acting recklessly by living in denial, okay? The moon is denial. It's deception. It's deceiving yourself, wearing a mask, okay? And, this is, and they're mirroring each other. So you're, you are allowing yourself to be taken advantage of by not dealing with the last remnants of pain in some situation or you know maybe that that last remnant is accepting a new opportunity seeing a new opportunity allowing a new miracle to come into your life you have to you have to allow it okay Ooh. so Aquarius it looks like you probably are receiving a message a message of love and it's a welcome message of love but you're insecure about it you are you're insecure about this message you need to believe and you need to have faith and you need to have trust at this time yeah okay so you guys are afraid you guys are afraid to put in any effort because of your your you're afraid to give somebody a chance. You're afraid to give somebody, maybe you're afraid to give somebody another chance. That could be the case. I mean, the judgment reversed. Upright, it could be a reconciliation. It, should, it could be another chance. Reverse, it's like, I don't think I can. I don't know. I don't know if there's any chances left in this situation. Um, you may not be feeling appreciated by another person, okay? Or you may not be able to appreciate this person's offer. You might be at a point where you're too insecure with your own thoughts that you can't accept an offer. That could be the case because I see insecure thoughts here. So therefore, you may not appreciate or want to come together with this with this person because you're still focused on the, the loss that you're going through. You, you know what I mean? If you're still focused on the hurt, you can't you can't even see the other opportunity. You know, you can't give it your energy. But wherever you're at right now. There's really no chance. There's no chance of it becoming alive again. There's no chance of it being resurrected. 
you know, and I think that you're really losing sleep, you know, maybe because you don't believe in yourself, you need to believe in yourself, you know, you need to be able to follow your own path. This is follow your intuition and this is follow your inner guide. You really need to listen to the nudges. Like I said, when we had this lineup, you're being nudged in a new direction. Listen to those nudges. S step into your insecurities. Deal with them. Deal with them. Now, okay, all right. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Fives are... Power struggles. Fives, when you see 555 five, five on the clock, on the back of a license plate, anywhere in that sequence, 555, five, five, it means that there is a major life choice in front of you, which is going to require a major life change. So major life choices and major life changes. That's what 555. Five, five. 555 five, five comes up when it's a time of personal freedom. Because it's time for you to let go of the old and bring in the new. That's what it is. It's divinely guided major life changes when you see 555. Five, five. That's what's happening here. That is what's happening here. Be prepared to expect the unexpected when you see 555. Five, five, because the divine is trying to push you in another direction. They're trying to make you deal with something that it has no more growth. You are going in a new direction. But you're fighting it by the looks of things. Some of you are fighting it because you, you just feel like you don't believe in yourself. And you should be believing in yourself. You really, really should. But let's see what else we got here. There's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for bliss. But you're not taking any action. Son of a bitch. Aquarius. Where's your strength? There's lack of... Come on now. Where's your strength? You're, go, you're going through a renewal. There's an offer here that could be... Oh, goodness gracious. Meant for you. Okay? This is this, this offer. This offer that is waiting, that is here or is around or whatever, is something that... Where there will be equal give and take. You know, where there will be equal balance in the relationship. Where you won't have to put in all the work, you know. It will be a relationship, okay. A relationship based on equality, okay. But you're not taking any action. This is beauty. The ultimate beauty. Oh, somebody sees your beauty. Somebody sees your beauty. Somebody sees your worth. And you right now, I feel like you're staying in a one side. See, I covered up one of them. Now we have a one sided situation. So somebody is staying in a one-sided situation. The universe is trying to nudge them forward into a more loving, caring partnership that they deserve. But somebody is refusing to move, refusing to take any action because they don't want they don't want to deal with any struggle. They don't want to deal with any chaos. They don't want to get hurt, you know, they don't want to hurt anybody. Um, this is try clinging to control, trying to keep things structured and organized when in fact, deep down inside, it's killing you. It's killing you to stay in this situation. Worried about what everybody else is going to say. I mean, this guy is basically, I mean, the emperor is very, he's, the, he's basically the king of his kingdom, okay? If you think about a kingdom, whenever it was, he's the king, he's what? I don't know much about the kingdoms and stuff, but he's the king of the kingdom, you know? And so he really worries about what his kingdom thinks about him. You know, he has a persona to live up to. You worried about what everybody else has to say? Is that why you're staying in this situation? 
That's weak. Weak. I don't want to be alone. I'm afraid to be alone. This is lack of abundance as well. This could be job related or it could be relationship related. This is lack of abundance, lack of, of self-respect even it is because this is lack of abundance in all areas. Lack of gratefulness. I'm not grateful for anything at this point because you're in a situation that is unhealthy. It's unhealthy for you. It's like you're being controlled. You're being manipulated by another person, whether it's a boss, whether it's a father, whether it's a husband is a woman that is being manipulated by a man into staying in a situation that is unstable. Oh my goodness gracious. It's causing resent. It's causing bitterness and anger. You don't want to be here. You want to be in this spot. As if you stay in a spot that doesn't fulfill your soul, you will continue to grow bitter and angry as the days go by. It's, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. You can't really stop it from happening. You can't. You can't. You might as well be alone, right? You might as well. If you stay in a situation that is less than fulfilling, especially when you know what you deserve you know what you're worth this is deserve this is love you deserve love because you're a beautiful soul right I mean you are it's clear as mud you know you deserve more but to get like I say with the Empress to get to that miracle you have to face the pain you got to there's no other way no other way. You're going to have to deal with adversity. You're going to have to deal with gossip, perhaps. Fuck it. They're not living your life. Destiny is calling, Aquarius. Better things are coming. You're about to start a new chapter. Destiny, fate is pushing you in a new direction. That's what's happening here. It's bringing you closer to your life's purpose. It's bringing you good luck and good fortune. Trying to, the wheel is spinning, okay? That's, it's the wheel of fortune. It's spinning in your favor. Because you're growing, you're growing resentful in the situation that you're in. And it's really not fair to you because that's really not the person that you are. Because you're beautiful. You're a beautiful soul. You're a compassion. You're a giver. You're a nurturer. You're a carer. You're a mother. You're a lover. You're beautiful. But staying in this situation is causing bitterness and resent and destiny, karma, fate, the universe is stepping in on your behalf. But free will always plays a part. Free will can, can you know, you think of that wheel where it's spinning in the water. What's that water wheel, you know, and that's spinning around and around and around. And they can stop that wheel, right? They stick, they can, they what, put a wedge in there or something? I don't know what they, what they do, but they stop the wheel. So if you want to stop the wheel, you will continue to be, grow more bitter and angry and upset. Okay, just saying. Be grateful for these changes. Be grateful that the time is now and not later. You're, you're being deceived. You are, there's a master manipulator here. <laughs> okay. There is. With the emperor reverse and the magician reverse, somebody is dealing with a master manipulator who has hidden agendas. Um, is very crafty and sneaky. Bossy. Abusive. They've stolen your power. They've stolen your power. Son of a bitch. You have to listen. Listen to your intuition. Trust your intuition. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, that's destiny. The High Priestess is the script. She's holding the written script. Okay, what you have decided upon before you came down. This 
Okay, it's right here with all this. It's part of the script. The changes that are happening that you're feeling that you want to make right now are part of the script. But you're going to have to be logical and you're going to have to be firm and you're going to have to make a decision. It's in the power, the sword of powers right here. It's in your hands. You're the deciding factor here. Destiny's on your side. They're trying to push you in the new direction. You decide. Are you going to go against the script? Are you going to put a wedge in that wheel? Or are you going to allow yourself to get the love that you deserve? Whoever you're dealing with does not have the best of intentions for you. Any sign, okay? This is a, a man. A man. That does not have the best of intentions. This man has grown withdrawn. This man has shut himself down emotionally. He uses emotional blackmail as a way to keep you stuck. To make you feel guilty. To keep you hanging on. That's a true narcissist with that. I mean, you're dealing with somebody that is very, very, very manipulative. Using, using all of his resources to keep you bound. And a lot of it is negative. I mean, there's emotional blackmail here. Emotional withdrawal. They, he knows how to push your buttons in every single way. Push, 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 push. But knows that you will hold on because it's solid and you don't want to be alone. Knows that you will hold on because you're too afraid of you know growing old alone what if I don't find anybody else that kind of thing now not all of you are like that some of you are single for the single people there's a change of course coming and it's what you deserve you're gonna you are going to get an offer of love and it's what you deserve but if you are still holding on to a situation that is going nowhere then you're going to then you're going to have to stand up and fight for yourself you're going to have to defend yourself this is it you may feel like you're being attacked at times and this could be from coworkers like i said this could be a work situation somebody may feel like they are under attack could and it could be by a few you know it could be by three different people or whatever but but it could, there's definitely a man here. I think there's a man that is is bringing a woman, making a woman resentful. And you're going to have to take back control because this man has all the control. All of it. All of it. Okay? Just saying. He's in complete control at this time. Okay? He is. He is in, but he's reversed. He's in complete control. The man in the situation is in control. Whether you're a man watching this or a woman, the man in the situation in this reading is in control. And the woman in this reading is growing bitter and resentful and hateful. She's unhappy. She's lonely in these circumstances, but she doesn't have the strength to leave it. And she needs to find that strength to leave it because destiny is trying to force her to do it but she you know like I said free will plays a part stuck sacrificing yourself needlessly I mean that's what the card means sacrificing yourself for for what for what I mean I don't, you know you're gonna have to struggle through this It's time to let go. You are resisting this change because you don't want to face the struggle that it will entail. Whatever this change is, whether it's the job that sucks or the relationship that sucks. One of them sucks and somebody's going to have to face the struggle and get out of it. Now, what about this Ace of Cups? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Ace of Cups. This is love. 
Raw opportunity for new love within the next year. But it's like you're in no rush. Your fears are holding you back. You have too many fears holding you back from love. Oh my goodness. Undecided. Unbalanced. <laughs> Refusing to change. Re resisting change. Resist. I mean, come on now. Change is needed. You're transforming. You're not the same person when this situation began. You're not. Why are you fighting it? Clinging to what you know, clinging to the memories, clinging to, you know, the children, whatever it is that's keeping you stuck there. We've had, we have so many memories. We have children together. We have this, we have that. In complete denial, avoiding the truth, Wearing a mask, refusing to make a decision, pretending everything's okay. All the, all the while holding on to anxiety and resentment. Getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Because you want love. You want romance. You want to be swept off your feet. And that's why there's resent growing. Because you're in a situation or you're staying in a situation or you're holding on to a situation. Needlessly. There's a passionate new beginning in the future. There is. Within a year. Within a year. If you can find the confidence to allow it. It's time to expand. And move on. Move on. Get on the boat. This is the journey to peace and harmony. It is. It's the journey to, to peace and harmony. It is. Serenity. But you have to get on the boat. When you get on the boat, you head towards a passionate opportunity and romance. And love. When you get on that boat, you head to a better place. But... You're going to have to struggle through this unharmonious situation that you are hanging on to at this point first. And if, you, and if you're already single and you're holding on mentally, same thing. Same thing. Somebody, you may see yourself as a victim. You may be overly emotional at this time. There's depression here. Sadness, not listening to your intuition, ungrounded. Demons, demons are speaking to you. You may be trying to mask it. You may be trying to hide the pain. But I think that, and you may be looking outside of this relationship. You may be like, you know what? I'm not happy. I'm, I'm looking out. I'm looking outside. You may be deciding, you know, you need to get your, your needs met elsewhere. I'm just saying. Because it just feels like somebody is in a very, very, very unhappy situation. And their desires are not being met. And there's a magnetic pull in a different direction. And it's time to free yourself. And somebody is also stuck in a toxic situation. Free yourself from this toxic situation that you're holding on to, whether it's work or relationship. It is toxic. 
It's one-sided now. We got another person covered up. It's a one-sided relationship. It is. It is. And you have a new opportunity waiting for you within a year of this completion. Those, the Wheel of Fortune is a completion. This is a completion as well. So within a year of this true completion, you will have love. The love that you deserve. Because you allow this rebirth and you face the pain. But right now there's no new beginning because you haven't moved on from it yet. You gotta move on. Within a year, you will get what you deserve for doing the right thing, okay? For doing the right thing for your growth, for doing the right thing for you. It's all about facing your fears. That very first card is the moon reversed. Facing your fears. Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. You are beloved. You are deeply loved and profoundly lovable, which we already know. You are a sacred vessel for love to flow through you. God, the creator, is love, and in your essence, so are you. You really, really are, okay? You really, really are. This is love. It is. You are a sacred vessel for love to flow through you. God, the creator, is love, and in your essence, so are you. In matters of romantic love, all is healing on the inner planes. Trust the messages from your heart and follow them. Even if you are at odds with your mind, angels and guides are communicating with you. Listen to their soft whispers. Remember I said listen? A while back I said, listen, listen, listen to the soft whispers. Joyous love flows through you and to you. You deserve love. You deserve love. There is nothing you need to do to receive this vibrant energy. Tenderness and devotion are finding their way to you. The traveler walks with a light heart on the path knowing that she is surrounded with love. It's truly a day for rejoicing. Your capacity for receiving and giving love is expanding. Let your heart lead you forward. Your mission on earth is to deepen your ability to impart and accept love. And this is happening right now. Remember? 555 five, five. the universe is nudging you in a new direction because you deserve love I mean what more can I say talk to you next week